Hello everybody, all right, I am so excited today because today I am shooting with one of my favorite people of all time, somebody who I have known forever and who I've shot many times and it's always such a pleasure to shoot her. I am of course talking about the one and only Nicole Aniston. And not only is it an amazing day because I'm just doing some really cool art stuff today with her, we're just doing like a content trade. I'm not shooting for any companies. I don't have like a shot list, I'm just doing whatever feels good and I love those kinds of days because I don't get many of them. Now if you're wondering what this big hulk of a camera right here is, this is my baby. This is an 8x10 film camera. This is actually made by a company called Intrepid out of the UK. Now people don't generally make large format film cameras anymore as you can imagine. There's not a big call for it, right? So usually if you're gonna shoot large format film photography, you would actually have to go buy like an old used one. Um, but this company actually made them um, brand spanking new. And I bought this when I was pregnant, which was about, man, like almost three years ago because I had this weird obsession with um, large format film photography after watching a documentary about Sally Mann, anyways. Um, so I bought this, but then like I didn't use it too often. So I have done a couple of shots with this, not terribly successfully, but today I am determined to finally get like some amazing pictures out of this camera and who better to shoot than Nicole. Now I only have two sheets of film. So I only have two shots at getting this right. And the film itself is actually very expensive. It's $25 a sheet and then it's about $50 to process each sheet. So you're looking at like $75 a shot. So I only have two pictures um, to make that worth it. So hopefully they will turn out. But um, yeah, this is a camera that just one really has to kind of think about every single step, right? Because there's a lot of ways that you can fuck up here. First of all, you have to make sure that the shutter is open so that you can actually focus. And you focus back here with a big drop cloth that I put over, you look through this plate glass and you use the bellows here to actually focus. So you move these bellows back and forth with this little knob that I cannot find because it is, because it is right here. So that's how you focus. And then, so once you get your focus, then you have to make sure that you close the shutter, very important. And then you have to put your 8x10 film holder in here. There's a sheet of film on each side. Hopefully, I put it in emulsion side up. You pull the dark slide, well, no, first you place it in here, you pull the dark slide out. Um, this is why it's so important that the shutter is closed when you do that. And then you go ahead and you cock your shutter. And then when you get that perfect shot, you snap it. And that's your photo. Put the dark slide back in, flip it to the other side. And that's it, those are your two shots. So obviously I'm gonna be covering um, this, I'm doing this in the studio upstairs. I'll be covering this in film and digital. And as well, we'll be shooting a lot of outdoor stuff um, covered in 35 millimeter and digital as well. So I'll get a wide array of shots. So very excited about today. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Nicole should be here any minute. And um, yeah, we're just gonna fucking, we're just gonna have fun today. Cause that's what it's all about. It's been a long time. It's been a long, long fucking time. I brought a banana. You did? Yeah. But you didn't bring like a bushel of banana. I didn't. I only brought one. <sighs> oh, damn. So I feel like we need to explain to the BTS camera, which you may not have been aware of, it's right We're here. We're 18 bananas short today. Nicole and I went on a trip to Costa Rica many moons. It was like nine years ago, actually, because it was in March. Yeah. So it was almost exactly nine years ago. Wow. Yeah. That was a long time. I know. And uh, we discovered that Nicole really likes bananas. Um, there was, it was Costa Rica, so there was a lot of incredibly delicious fruit. And Nicole was very excited about all of the bananas. And uh, we were on, was it Banana Watch? 2014, is that what we called it? Can I talk about drugs on here? Yeah, absolutely. okay, so 
it was like, I think it was our last night there. Yes. And me and, um, and Damo stayed at the Via. Yeah. And everybody else went out. We went to the, yeah, we went to this party that was owned by the guy who owned the locations we were shooting at some like yeah. oil tycoon from Texas. Yeah, and so, oh, I went to that. I went oh, to, you that, to but that. I was like, uh, cause there was a bunch of guys it was who were all like, hey. Yeah. But the, the that's when I accidentally got given an edible. Oh, I, yeah. After I, seven years of sobriety. Crazy, that was a ridiculous kind of night. Um, it was the beginning and the end. It, that was weird, <laughs> yeah. But that one night, everybody went to that restaurant. Yes, yeah, okay, yes, yes, yes. The food yes. got all weird and stuff. Damo and I stayed back at the Via. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna have a beer. I'm gonna have a beer. Cause I'd had an edible and I was like, I'm gonna have a beer. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think I had half a beer maybe. Yeah. I, that's all I could handle. And then the guy who was our local Stuart. guy. Stuart. Um, fucking fast times at Ridgemont High yes. guy. He was so, very, he was like, literally he was that person. He was. And he brought up a huge bushel of bananas. And I had just began eating bananas like heartily during this time. <laughs> So I go to Costa Rica and of course they're literally on a fucking bushel outside of the Via and I'm, oh my God, the source of the bananas. So I had 19 in one night. Is that how many? That's, I had 19 bananas. Did you poop one. after that? I poop so good. Like, don't bananas like stop you up? I had no issues. Oh, they, okay. Mind you, they were local organic Costa Rica bananas. So yeah. they were not, they were only about that big. Mm. They were. They were smaller bananas. They were an average size banana. They were an average size banana. They weren't this ridiculous. Five and a half inches is average, guys. It is average. For a banana and a penis. Yes, for, yeah, completely <laughs> normal. I ate 19 of them and I had no issues afterward at all. Huh. No concerns. Yeah. That was wonderful. Those were the most delicious bananas yeah. to this day I've ever had. Yeah. It's not the same. And then every time I saw bananas, like I would send Nicole a picture of like bananas. I'd send like a banana truck and be like, Nicole, bananas. <laughs> and it's just like, and nine years later, it's still like a it's running still inside a thing. joke. It's still a thing. Oh my God. Do you remember when, um, when I think it was actually the night that we went to that party when Mia Malkova stayed back? It at, was a photo shoot day when we went to or, that guy's property who had the pit bulls and he moved, he was a, he was like a stockbroker who moved to Costa Rica from New York and he had like a one room shack and we shot in his, his in like his beach, river beach front. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. so cool. Oh, right. Okay, that's the, where, where yeah. we had to go down to the we jungle. We had to go down to the jungle and it was all like can yes. you ahead. There were two cans and stuff. Yes, and we had to bring um, was machetes to like hack yeah. our way. We and, had to get through yes. that. And then Mia stayed back at the Via and we got back and we were like, where's all the food? <laughs> No, literally, where is all the food? Because Mia ate everything. She got high, which she like never does, but she like decided to smoke or something that one, and literally ate all the food. And Damo said that he was like reading a book, I think, yeah. in the main room. And he said that he saw her kind of like going back and forth from the kitchen, like a lot. And I was like, what is going on? And then, yeah, like we come back and I had to go shopping. Mia ate all the food. There was nothing. She was like, I was just, it was so delicious. It was fine. <laughs> She's so cute. So fine. She was like, I don't know. I just, I had an edible and I was really hungry. <laughs> like the cereal was gone. The fruits were gone. The vegetables were gone. Everything. The, everything in the fridge. Everything. It was like, how did you do that? Yeah. She's, you know, yeah. she's not that big. No. She doesn't have the capacity. You wouldn't no. think looking at her, but no. she made it work. It was impressive. It was pretty amazing. That was a great trip. So yes, it was. From that. Yeah, it was. Good times, good times. I finally grew out my bangs because I got, mm. I had a really good mushroom trip and I was like, I'm getting bangs. <laughs> And I did, and I never loved them. Never made decisions like that on a mushroom trip. I loved them. It was the best thing I did. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna grow them out. One and done. That's fine. Two weeks later, they were like too long to even bang anymore. When you're shooting. Hold your hands up like this so that all the blood doesn't come down and like make your veins bulgy. And then when you're ready, bring your hands down. Okay. So when you're waiting, it? like that's such a good idea. Do this. Oh. 
how is your shoot going so far? Oh my gosh, it's going so great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you excited about the weather? I am because it feels like heaven. It feels like springtime in California. Truthfully, it's not even 65. It's actually a solid 70 at least, so I'm stoked. Tell us a little bit about like where we're at and what we're shooting and the looks we're doing. We are in Calabasas. It's um, a really beautiful day and I'm really grateful to be wearing such kind of like springtimey, summerish attire. So we're going to be shooting on some beautiful um, rocks over here that have really nice shape and texture to them and some nice flowers. We just got done shooting um, in some beautiful brand new hand carved um, live edge wood furniture from a flea market that I really love. And yes, my hair is a mess today. <laughs> it's breezy and yeah, we're gonna be doing a couple different looks. We just finished the black, so now we're gonna do the white and we'll see, we'll see what we feel like after that. We are going down to the meadow right now. It is super green down there because we've had like a crazy rainy year, which actually delayed this shoot a couple of times. We had to reschedule because of the rain. But today is a beautiful day. Worth the wait. I feel like the universe day. is like shining down on us. They're mm -hmm. like, make beautiful art together. Warm and green today. and lush, yeah. yeah. Look, okay, Nicole and Holly, I bring you, I bring you this amazing day because it's gonna rain tomorrow. I'm gonna grab a couple handfuls of grass. Just eat it. When in Rome. Yeah, I mean, you know. I'm vegan. You're vegan, so she eats grass. I mean, isn't that what all vegans eat? What else is there? Bananas and grass. Moment of truth has arrived. I have everything lit. I have pretty much framed the shot. Um, I just need to come in, double check my focus. And then once I have locked all that in, I literally cannot look through this. Um, plane of glass anymore and I just have to look at her and take the shot. All right, that is a wrap. Um, today was amazing. It was one of my best. Oh, my favorite you. So awesome. It was so awesome. I just really like, you have such good energy and you know, it's so crazy because we did one of your very first shoots together. Um, I helped you pick your name. I know! That which was is, so interesting! Oh which my is gosh. so crazy and like all these years later like you've just, you know, you've, sh you've blown up and you've become such a big name and like you're a household name. Just this morning we were joking about how this article came out about her like in the Daily Star. I, my name was mentioned in it so I came up my Google alerts and the, the title was Who's Nicole Anderson and How Old Is She? Which is like... <laughs> Nobody knows! <laughs> title for her! But I want to know like, what's the context. Like it was literally just like a bio of your life. Like just you know they pulled out bits and pieces. Of, yeah, I mean you know people yeah. you've dated and like how long you've been in the industry. Oh, they did say that you were a vegan and you were devoted to animal rights. So they got some. Yes, right. all right. They got the meaningful stuff. Yeah, they got some things right. The rest but, is just wrong. But. Um, anyways, I'm just like it's just been really cool to see you like your career take off the way it has and you literally, you're the same person. Like you haven't changed yeah. at all. Well, I have a lot of that to thank, honestly, for my good foundation with you and with your mom. And honestly, if I didn't have that beginning, kind of that welcoming, that camaraderie, and like that, that female camaraderie in the adult industry, I probably wouldn't have stuck with it. So oh. that was a really foundational, like formulative days and shoots and stuff for me. So you guys can thank me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true, it's true. I think a lot of like female talent can can attest to that as well. So, yeah, we go way back. We're still the same people. We're yeah. weirder. Yeah, we're, we're weirder. weirder than now. I'm a little bit fatter. Me you too. Not so much. Yes. No, I am. I I was looking at my driver's license the other day. I'm like, no, not even close. You got to renew it this year. You look me. Thank you. Anyways, it was such a pleasure to shoot. I and really this. hope that eight by ten film comes out. I think it's it will. Gonna be a little bit embarrassed if it doesn't. I think no promises. The whole day has been amazing, so I feel like that's going to be just like the the sprinkles on top. Okay. Yeah, well, it was we'll an amazing see. day though. Thank you so yeah. much. It was Thank so you. perfect. Thank you. Awesome day. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you so much. Today was amazing. So fun. Just to do the artsy fun stuff. Yeah. Nobody else's nothing. Yeah. Nobody else's a schedule or any of that. Yeah, it was really nice. That was great. I don't think I saw your vagina at all today. And neither did I. Like that was a mess. Like <laughs> I'm okay with that. Best. 
You know? That was like, so nice. I'm good. I mean, it's, it's nice, but like, I'm okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I still feel like we had a good day. It was a great day. It was a great day. Vaginalist day. It was wonderful. <laughs> More of these days. No vaginas out. No vagina days. No wieners. Like, nothing. No buttholes. No buttholes. Nothing. No. None of that. No. I mean, shoot's not over something. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I don't know, catch you on the next one. Bye.